What's the point of having a balcony if you're not going to use it? I was tired of seeing wasps and spiders all in the balcony that discouraged me from even using it. So I'm going to show y'all how to put your mess on your balcony step by step. So let's get to it. Before you even decide to buy your mess, make sure you measure it out properly. You can use any type of measuring tape. You'll need a staple gun. Staples are what really matters the most. 9 by 16 that really can drive into the wood pretty effective. Make sure you got good scissors. Uh, I got the long ones. I tried to use the short ones. It was hard to kind of dig into the, to the mesh. And if you're shorter or you have a trouble kind of reaching certain places, I recommend getting a stool. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First things first, I was cleaning up everything, get rid of spider webs and any debris. And also two days prior, I had sprayed down all the wasp nests. So all of them pretty much dead, but some wasps were still kind of coming in. So I was on my Steph Curry long range, make sure I didn't get stung or anything like that. Also, I swept the floor, make sure all the debris, some paint was still peeling. So I want to make sure there's a clean workspace so I can start laying down the mess and get into the nitty gritty. It's better off to get a little bit more than less. So say for instance, the height is 48 inches. If you see one that's 54, just get that one. You can always cut it down and get a custom fit. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna seal off the bottoms. I can't make it 100% impenetrable based on the, how the apartment is set up, but I can make it as inconvenient as possible for all the big bugs like the wasps and spiders to come in and prevent them from setting up shop. And also I have concrete on the side so I can't fully lock it in, but I can seal it off the best way I can, which you can see that I'm doing right now with my staple gun. It's really holding in and making sure everything is tight and fitted and pretty much impenetrable for them just to fly in. And you can see I'm locking in that side where it's kind of easy for someone to slide in, like not someone, a bug can slide in without uh, issues. See, now I'm starting off my front. And like I was saying earlier, make sure that you have a little extra material to make adjustments on the fly, unless you actually made those adjustments with the measurements. And this is good for a lot of amateurs that looks like myself to kind of make things a little bit more efficient because for example on my end the wasp nest was growing slightly outside the balcony so i had to make sure i had enough material to stretch it out a little further so i'm just kind of just tightening everything up because it was a little windy outside so but i did have a little situation so i just went and did the size because some wasps were still kind of flying in so i kind of heard one to get that out the way and i actually did kind of mess up slightly because on the right side of the uh, of the balcony where I did the other one, I actually cut out too much material, so I end up having to combine another mesh piece and kind of put it together, so it's kind of a little off, but you can still make it work. That's what I was saying. Just in case you get the wrong size, make sure that you please focus on the length and not the width because you can always buy another mesh piece and just combine that on there as well too as I did right now. And now I'm just doing the bottoms because like I said, it was starting to get a swarm of wasps starting to fly in. So I was getting a little agitated <laughs> and almost stung by a lot of wasps coming in. So I just kind of did this real quick. Just get that out the way because that's what it was coming in at. So it was pretty good. So now I'm just kind of locking out the bottoms so nothing to come in. And then I'll cut off the excess a little later on. I just want to make sure that I got the outsides of the balcony squared away before I actually cut stuff off because I already learned my lesson doing that with the other piece because I had to combine it. Even though I did have enough material in general to make that uh, that side work. So I just wanted to, before I cut everything, I want to make sure everything is kind of locked in and already kind of blocked. Make sure nothing's coming in and make sure it's as impenetrable as possible and no bugs are flying in. So you can see I'm just getting in the bottoms locked in staple them in no issues the staple is great it's locking in without any issues so it's going in pretty smooth and as you can see this is not a really a long process i'm explaining the time frame later on and this is how the overall looks so hope you guys found this video beneficial if you have anybody that has any bugs or uh, insects that are flying on the balcony and you think this can be beneficial for yourself or even for them share it to them if you found a better way to put the mesh on i'm happy that you did at least watch the video and then find your little ways to make it work for you that's totally fine again um it took me like an hour to hour and a half to do it could have been a lot sooner if wasps wasn't flying in as well and also you know moving the camera around and doing stuff like that so again hope you guys found this video helpful and make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'm out gone.